against my Melody Sundown, a team on top of their game. You guys also coming behind them. How do you look at this game on Saturday? Uh, as the coach have said, uh, we we looking to the game as any other game. Uh, we we do the preparations as we always do. Uh, try and focus on uh, what we we do best uh, and improve where we we have not done well. Uh, so we. We 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 doing the same approach uh, as, as the other games. Uh, just focus on what we can do better, and do the things that we do good uh, on the more regional pieces. For you, uh, from my point of view, for you this will be like your biggest game uh, for since joining uh, Orlando Pirates from Amazon. As a person and as a player, how do you approach this game in your own capacity, not as Orlando Pirates, but as Tapelo Talk? Uh, I would like, if it was golf, I would maybe answer that properly for you, but uh, it's a team sport. Uh, it's not about me, it's not about any individual in the team, uh, it's about the team uh, and your role in the team. Um, if I'm given a chance, I have to do my role the best as I can, like everybody else. Uh, it's a game that we know we, it's it's a big man, magnitude game, uh, but we just have to treat it like any other game. Uh, we've played them before, even where I was, I've played against them. I'm sure all the other guys have played against them. So everyone has their own experience for, for the game. So we just prepare for the game now as a group uh, and make sure that we play as a team, which is because it's a team sport, it's not about the individual. Would you say you have found your feet because now looking at the caliber of uh, def uh, central defenders that Pirates has, it's yourself, it's Smithy, it's Ndao, so would you say you have found your footing and a, a sort of like a partner whom you'd say uh, you're comfortable playing around in making sure that you don't concede uh, the goals? Uh, having played at the games that we've played, I'm sure you have noticed that uh, we've, we've, we've rotated uh, at the back. Uh, we've played with this one, we've played with that one, so you can't say that uh, you prefer to play with that one. Uh, it's a team effort. Uh, injuries are part of the game. Uh, suspensions are part of the game. Uh, so once given a chance, you just have to apply yourself and give your best. Uh, personally, yes, I've, I've adjusted to the club, uh, adjusted to the teammates. I'm sure also they've adjusted to me. Uh, it's been a transition that uh, has been smooth for me. Uh, so, in terms of that, I, I can say that yes, I've adjusted to the team. Tapiolo, do you feel this game will help you sort of gauge where, which level you are at? Because obviously for the last five years or so, Sundowns have been um, dominating. I mean, you would be well aware of this having come runners up when you were still at Amazon as well. Yes, it will be a good tester for us to, to see how, uh, how far we can go. Uh, we know that uh, they are the current defending champions. Uh, so for us, uh, we know we want to go all the way. Uh, for us to go all the way, we have to beat everyone that's put in front of us. So it's no different uh, if it was other opponents, but uh, we have to face the defending champions, give them the respect they deserve. But uh, going to the game knowing that we want to win and we want to go all the way. You feel the you know, the signings that have made, not just from last week, but overall yourselves included uh, your species as well, you are beginning to understand each other uh, and to, you know, to make the team gain, get trophies and, and get better and improve and catch up with sundowns as it were. Yes, uh, we, we are getting to know one another better. Uh, each game, is, as the game goes, uh, the games comes. Uh, uh, we've been unfortunate in some instances where we got injuries when uh, the guys were starting to, to gel. Like uh, probably like got injuries with the likes of Lodge, the likes of Pule, Tabi Sauce at the back. So that has disturbed us here and there. But uh, that's that's the main reason to have a big squad. Uh, we have enough depth in the team when someone is out the other one can come in and do the job so we've done well in terms of uh, adjusting to one another and the signings that uh, the club has made uh, everyone has, has played a part uh, they've given their all um, we, we just try and do our best as the coaches have said um, and do what we normally do at training goals that's that's where we, we, we judge ourselves mostly uh, and then the games will be the results of what we do at training. Uh, I think 
most games that you guys have played at home, supporters have been coming out in numbers, and obviously uh, this will most probably be a full match, uh, full capacity rather. What is your message to the Pirates faithful who are coming as Kutini to come and support you guys? Because obviously they will come in their numbers and expect to win. Uh, they must keep on coming. Uh, we appreciate their support. Uh, it has given us an extra moral and extra boost. Uh, we, we just encourage them to keep on supporting us and, and, and coming in numbers as, as they are currently. So that will always give us an extra edge against whoever we play. So I will just give them that uh, they must just keep on supporting us. Tapelo, the new arrivals on deadline day, um, has it given like a boost of morale to the team? How is the feeling in training when they saw the new faces coming in there? Uh, it's 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 always good uh, when when the new guy comes in that the guys that are there welcome him with with warm hands, which was with the case when I when I go to the club. So it's the same with the guys that have come in. Uh, we try to to be as welcoming as we can, uh, get to know them and them get to know us as well. So it's 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 been one of those where you you know that in a transfer window you can have players coming in, you have players going out. So. We just have to adjust to, to whoever is coming in and whoever leaves the club. So fortunately for us, we've got good quality players uh, who are going to add uh, a lot of value to the club and uh, hopefully they, they bring the success the club deserves. Just want to ask you, um, the club, we've seen on the media department what they've done is shown or taken us into your preseason where you guys had team building where you spoke about personal experiences and you guys seem to have bonded like quite a bit. Do you think that that off the field camaraderie um, adds to what it is that you guys are producing on the field? Do you think that it has helped? Yeah, it's always crucial in any team sport uh, to have to have that. Uh, it's a it's a team sport for a reason. You need the next person next to you. Uh, for you to work together well, you need to understand the type of person you are working. So. That helped us in terms of that, uh, to understand one another uh, and uh, know that at a certain time and a certain point in the game, this is how you can rely on your brother next to you. So that really helped us in terms of that. And it's, it's, it's a result of that, I can put it to you, it's a result of that that we, we started the way we started. And we can still improve. Uh, there's so much room for improvement that we know. So. We can only add on that and we can't lose that because it's going to be a long season. There's going to be ups and downs in the season and that we always fall back into that. If you have a brother within the team, then we'll overcome all the obstacles that we're going to face in the season. Tapel, I'm looking at you coming into Orlando Pirates as a defender now. The, the, the central pairing has been changing here and there, but up front you've got two now, you know, top strikers. Kemit, Zakele, you know, the, the uh, Peppers, all of them. Now, when you go into this game, as much as you might say you want to win the game, and as much as your strikers may score, because they will score, but the pressure comes back at you that to that old line that says, defenders win you titles, uh, you know, whilst strikers win you matches. Is it something that you guys have spoken about as whether maybe in training, when you say, when they say to you, "Tina uh, what's the what's the uh, cohesion like between the two departments? Yes, in an, on, in an, in an informal way, you can put it like that. Uh, we have those chats like, guys, if you score one, we'll, we'll keep it tight at the back. But in the team structure, you know, there's two phases of, of, of the game, the scoring and there's defending. They can't score without our input. We can't defend without their input. So. We try by all means to, to make sure we're solid as a team and going forward we help one another to create the opportunities for them as well because uh, we believe that uh, studying the ball at the back, building up, so for them to get the chances we have to give them the opportunity to get those chances. So we, we try to, to keep it balanced as much as we can, uh, keep it tight and, and, and get the goals that we deserve. So the credit goes to the whole team when we, we keep a clean sheet, it also goes to the whole team when we win. So the most important thing is to win. And for us to win games, we have to keep it clean and we have to score. That's as, as simple as that. Um, Tabelo, um, last night the coach said something interesting at this post post conference that the national team coach, that the most of the, uh, some of the players at PSL are not good for international football. Do you, do you want to comment on that? Do you believe he's right? Or? 
<laughs> you do want that. That's the cool. That's the question for for for, for the Mafana coach. <laughs> Um, you were talking about scoring, defending. Peter Shandilile, you know, been in form the last three seasons. Um, you know, played against him at Amazulu and Pirates. What do you make of you know that? What would probably be a, a battle between Peter and, and Shandilile? Peter and, and you know, your, your guys is on Saturday. Uh, we have to appreciate his qualities. Uh, he's, he's done well for for his club. Uh, he scored goals uh, for for his team. But uh, he doesn't do it alone. Uh, the guys give him the supply, so that's why we, we have to make sure that we start the supply to him as much as we can. So we, we have to deal with all the other guys and the, all the other elements because it's not only him who can hit you, there's so many guys who can hit you in their team. Uh, hence, uh, the tactics coach will sort it out during the week and we make sure that we follow what we have to do on the day. And we have to adjust on the game if something doesn't go the way we expected it to. So we, we just have to focus on that as, as, a, as, a, as a collective, not focus solely on him because it's not only him who can hit you. But we have to respect his qualities. Uh, we've played against him in many games, so we know what type of player he is. And on the day, we'll see how we handle it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Here comes the game against Mami Road Sundowns, MTN 8 and Finals Face Lake. As a team, how do you approach the game knowing how Sundown is? They are free scoring team. Maybe they have not only scored in one game against the Escalax. In all the other games they have played, they have scored. How do you approach such a game? Uh, well, I think for us, it, uh, the approach is always pretty much standard. We approach each and every game as it comes. So as much as we'll be playing against Sundowns, we'll be preparing ourselves the way we always prepare ourselves for each and every domestic game. Utapiro Koki was here now. He just said, Bona as defenders, they'll defend. Sebazo Jiswain, Ama midfielders, Nama strikers, if you don't create goals. I doubt Utapiro Koki would say that. Because you were here. But I know very well Uti, in whatever he said, he meant to Uti as a team. Uh, uh, it's not just about in individuals, so we're gonna fight together as a team. Start defending from up front and attacking from from the defense. So we, we stay together in everything that we do. We came, we came from Kaiser Chiefs here. The mood was so beautiful. We've spent the whole morning with them. The players are happy. They are looking bubbly, and usually, you know, you can't talk pirates without talking Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, in your camp, now that we were not there this morning, what did we miss out on in your training session this morning, looking at the hours remaining before the main game? Uh, I'd say you missed out on the positive mood that we have. We stay positive at all times. We, 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 we make sure that we, we keep ourselves happy so that our, our people can stay happy as the happy people. Uh, Fuchin, which, which one for you uh, takes precedence? Is it the joy of winning or the fear of losing on Saturday? <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. But uh, to, to respond to your question, uh, uh, I wouldn't uh, get carried away with, with everything that's happening. We, ours is to focus on giving out a good performance on the day, and the results will take care of itself. Uh, Tatana, they say, uh, okay, my colleagues have been speaking about defense and uh, as well as uh, uh, strikers. Now I want, to, I want us to focus on the midfielders. I mean, sure. look at the quality that Pirates has. It's yourself, it's your club, it's your team. And now you're battling another team that also has quality within their midfield. You have the Bullets, you have the How do you think you're going to match up? Because I feel that the battle will actually be in the middle, based on the qualities that both teams have. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, it, it tells you that the, 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 the football in South Africa is getting somewhere. But to be honest with you, it's for us it's not about the midfielders because we complement one another. So it's about the whole department. So for us as midfielders to look good, our strikers and our defenders have to make us look good as much as we'll be making them look good. Just a follow up on that one, as the midfield, as I said, is full of quality at Orlando Pirates. To you as a player, last year you were more of a regular than you've been this year. How does it help you, or this season I should say, how does it help you to fight and improve your game? I think for, for one, uh, to, to grow in life, you have to have the, the will to learn. And uh, I, I would say it's my faith to learn from, 
observing so that whenever I go into the field of play, I, I express myself better. So I'm going day by day with the help of my teammates and my coach. This, this match is dubbed as one of the teams, of, of the matches with two teams with top quality players that even the benches or even those who sit at the, stand, at the stands can have a regular start on the teams below the top eight. Uh, let me just pick your brains on that. Sundowns Pirates, the quality of players that are there plays before you guys get to play. Are there any points of discussion among yourself as players? Okay, they've got that player, we've got this player, they've got that player, we've got this. Where are you before we go into this game mentally? Maybe we are much of we are so much of an egocentric team. <coughs> we care about ourselves and we care about the players that we have in our team. So we haven't really talked much about them. But all we know is that we have good players and it's good to see that the competition is high and it gives us the that, that positive edge to say we 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 have everything in our power to to fight for something. Ochun, yeah, where do you think? That, just a follow up. No, talking of that quality, can I also ask a question? No, you're talking of that quality and I think, does that put pressure on you as a team to say you have to win something this season? I think as soon as you step in into the Orlando Pirates batch, there's pressure. And pressure is always going to be there. As I'm sitting here, I'm exerting, I'm exerting pressure on this seat. The questions are coming and coming. But as a Buccaneer, it's something that you have to live with. Pressure all the way. Guys, just take turns and give everyone an opportunity to ask. Uh, fortune, you know, looking at the past seasons, obviously the coach says the Saturday what happened in the past won't play a role, but the reality is that you've played in those games where sundowns have been dominant. Where, what do you think has, has changed uh, since Coach Jose came, came in and what, are we, what output are we likely to see in, a, in you know, facing Sundowns for the first time this, this season? Well, it's a good thing that Coach Jose wasn't there and that's why when, when he came in he didn't uh, want to dwell much on what's happened in the past. He's been focusing on what's happening now and what we can do to, to, to up our game in the future. So that's actually a positive sign for us. And well, for me, it's not just about me. As much as I may have played in, the, in those fixtures, I also played when we dominated them. So we'd, we'd go back and forth and say, oh, they dominated, we dominated. And so yeah. So I'm, 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 if, if I may come in there, I'm, I'm looking at, at you and the role that you're playing now. You are a senior player at Orlando Pirates. Uh, with all the younger guys and the newer guys that have come in. Uh, again, I'm going back to what the talk is all about when it comes to you welcoming him. Let's say Androndo, for instance, uh, who just came into Orlando Pirates. Uh, when, when he's around you, he's probably one of the youngest, well, of the shortest, of course, maybe, uh, but one of the newest players within the setup. Just take us through the interaction and integration of a player like that into the Pirate setup. Well, for, for me and Dondo, we, we go a long way with Dondo. And for him coming into our team it made me very, very happy. And I'll be honest with you, I was very happy with him coming into our team because I know he's going to help us a lot, as much as everyone that's actually came into our team is going to help us. So for him, it's for him to, to, to learn from everyone and try and, and apply himself the, the, the Pirates way until he gets his opportunity to, to help us. Already they are saying it's number 15 at Pirates, and you know who that player belongs to. <laughs> Belong to a lot of players. No, let's, talk about <laughs> let's talk about the body stature, the size, and the position. <laughs> it belongs to a lot of players, and I'm happy for him, and uh, I pray that he, he actually does well in our team, because he's going to get all the support that he needs. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Nice.